welcome back once again to Jack's Tech Corner. I'm your host Jack and this is another Photoshop Elements video tutorial. Please if you have a few minutes if you'd like to pick up uh, 46 great high resolution Photoshop Elements tutorials on a DVD stop over to jackstechcorner.com and pick up a copy today. It's only $15. It's a great way to start learning on your own pace. You can just sit and follow through those videos minimize those um, and pause them or stop them and pause them and play them whenever you feel like it. They will run on uh, Windows computers as well as a Mac. So um, I included a software called Flip for Mac that allows you to play those WMV files right in uh, QuickTime. Also please take a minute to check out our sponsor's website GreenScreenWizard.com. Uh, the owner of the Green Screen Wizard and the creator, his name is Ken, He's a great guy, and if you do green screen photography work, I would uh, recommend that you pick up the plugin uh, to go into your Photoshop and your Photoshop Elements. It works in both. Or download the, the standalone version. There's a demo of the standalone version, and uh, Ken built a lot of the tools that you're going to use right into that. And he said he uses the standalone version probably just as much, if not more, than the plugin. So try out the standalone also. Um, I will tell you that's for Windows uh, computers only. But uh, he is working very rapidly on the Mac version. In this video tutorial, I thought I would tell you or teach you how to install the brushes on your Mac. Because I just uh, showed in the last video tutorial how to install brushes on a Windows PC. I was sitting here thinking and I said, you know, a lot of you guys out there are Mac guys. So why don't I show you how to install brushes also so you can take advantage of uh, new brush tips and brush styles in your Photoshop elements. So let's go ahead and get started. <clears throat> We're back here at Breeze at Brush Easy, Brush E E Z Y dot com, and this will be in the show notes. If you go onto the right hand side of the YouTube video, you might have to click on more, but I'll put a link in there so you can just click on that link uh, as soon as you're done watching this video and download these brushes and play with them. And uh, <clears throat> this is all free brushes. It's a nice site. I just found it on a Google search, and I am throwing it out there so you can actually. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, download this stuff and uh, play with all these different brushes. We're going to download and install the exact same brushes we did on the Windows machine. We're going to go here to the tree borders, click on that. Now we're going to go to download. And then we're going to go to save to disk. Now your download might be automatically started. I like to set mine up so I can put them in a folder. Then I'm going to click on my downloads folder. And what I did was I created <clears throat> a new folder right down here called Photoshop Brushes. Once you have that, then just click on Save. And we'll click on Replace. Because I already downloaded them. So let's click on Replace. Now let's go ahead and open up your Finder window and open up your downloads folder. Now you see if we keep everything in a folder, it makes it very nice and very easy to find the stuff. So let's just double click on that. And if you right click on the zip file, remember these are compressed, or if you don't have a two button mouse, or if you don't have a two button set up on your uh, laptop or whatever the case, you can also do a command click and uh, get to the submenu also. Now. All we have to do now is go to Open With, and you can go to Archive Utility, which is built into the Mac, or if you download to Stuff It, you can actually open it with Stuff It and Expand, or either one. I'll just use the Archive Utility. And what it's going to do here is actually extract this. I'm going to delete this one because there's I don't need two of these things in here. Okay, it's going to extract it and say Tree Borders 3.abr. Okay, great step. Now, what do we do with that? Let's right click on it and click on copy or command click to get your submenu. Or you can highlight it and you can go up to edit, copy tree, whichever you prefer. You know, there's multiple ways to do things on any computer. Now we want to click on the applications folder. And in the applications folder, you're going to find Adobe Photoshop Elements 6. I know that because on the Mac, Adobe Elements 7 is not available as of yet. Now we'll just click the little triangle in front here, open it up, 
and then you're going to find presets just like we had on a Windows computer. And if you click on presets, the little triangle, you're going to come up to brushes. Just double click that. Then you just right click and click on paste item. And I'll just click replace because like I said, it's already in there. And as you can see now, we have our new brush in there. Tree Borders 3.abr. At this point, we're done with the finder window. Let's just close it out. There. Now we can go ahead and open up our Photoshop elements. All right. Let's go ahead and test these out. Let's go to New, Blank File. And we'll make a bigger file um, width of about uh, 1,000 and height of about 500. And there we go. Let's click on our Move tool here, move this over a little bit. Now, if we go down and click on our brushes, we can click the pull down menu. And once again, click under brushes here, the pull down menu for brushes. And you can find all your different brushes in here drop shadow brushes. There's all kind of different things you can use. Here's our new Tree Borders 3 brush. We we'll click on that. Now, oh, you just click on one of these brush styles. There's our big tree. The right and left bracket keys will make these so you can uh, change the size of them. You can just do it like that. We can go up here and uh, pick out a different brush. We can do our tree limbs up here again, just like so. Put another one in here, like so. <clears throat> so there you go. There's our brushes. You can actually change the color of these brush styles also. Uh, we don't want that one. But that one. There's the person that made the brushes. That's pretty cool. I don't want that one. Let's take that one, but this time let's change the brush color. So you can just change your foreground color. Stick that in there. There we go. Let's look at these foreground colors here. And they're apparently just preset to the brown color here, so that's all right. And we'll just throw one more up there just to make it look a little more full. Let's click on this Move tool. And there you have it. <clears throat> you now have a, a little scenery with some uh, different styles of um, tree limbs on there or branches. So I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial on how to install brushes on your Mac and I hope to bring some more Mac tutorials to you. If you have any Mac questions about Photoshop, please email those over to me. Uh, you can either email them to jackstechcorner at gmail.com or simply put it in the comments. It seems like a lot of people just like to stick things in the comments or send me messages through YouTube, which is also fine. So until next time, keep those shutters clicking, keep the editors editing. And I'll see you back here very soon. Bye for now.